now to the Mississippi because I know some of us saw some rain and we may see some more tomorrow too, Daniel. Yeah, and then not only that, but we also are heating up. We're seeing warmer temperatures and that's going to continue into next week. But of course, the immediate concern is the potential for some severe weather in our area on Sunday. Right now, things are looking pretty good. We've had some pop up rain and storms earlier this afternoon as you're heading out the door this evening. Not much happening. There is a shower over toward Madisonville, but severe weather to our north and that continues to march to the east. Now this particular line of storms isn't going to make its way into our area, but that is where the severe weather threat is for the rest of the day and overnight. It shifts to the east on Sunday. That's where we have that marginal risk for severe weather. It's the lowest risk on the scale, so we'll have to monitor for one or two of those storms reaching that severe criteria, which for us would be 58 mile per hour wind gust or higher, possibly some small hail or even an isolated tornado. But here's a look at your forecast So tonight. You see not too much happening. You may see a stray shower through the night going into the early morning hours on Sunday. Again, not too much happening, but a few isolated showers may be possible through your morning. As we go into the afternoon, the heat of the day, we start to see some of these thunderstorms, and that's where we'll be monitoring for severe weather. That's through the afternoon and into the early evening. I think things improve. As we go overnight once again by Monday morning, we'll see a little bit more shower activity continuing. So the big picture, there's a cold front that's going to be building toward the south. That's what's going to help to bring some rain as we go through the afternoon and evening. The front starts to push toward the south. You can see the dry air behind the front, but it's actually going to lift back toward the north. The moisture remains in place, and so we still could see a few lingering showers early on Monday morning. As you see going into the afternoon, again, a little bit of rainfall lingering around. But by Tuesday, I do expect a clearer sky and some sunshine to be moving in. Again, your rainfall estimates will be looking at some higher totals, looking like across the North Shore, heading west toward Baton Rouge. If you have plans there, you definitely just need to check the radar before heading out the door. So once the rainfall moves out and we get this drier air in, it is going to be setting up a hot weather pattern across much of the southeast going through next week. So right now, temperatures aren't too bad. Your rain cooled 77 over toward Hammond. It's 84 in Kenner, but temperatures were up to 88, 89 today. And now we're, the humidity is coming into play. It's making it feel warmer. It was feeling like the low 90s in a few areas earlier this afternoon. And our high temperatures are going to reach the low 90s as we go toward next week. So get ready because that summer heat is going to be on its way. Another thing that's going to be on the way, the tropical season, the hurricane season starts on June 1st, so just a couple of weeks away. And there's a disturbance that we are watching. The National Hurricane Center is monitoring an area that's just toward the southwest of Bermuda. There is a 40% chance for tropical development as we go over the next three to five days. So impacts to Bermuda, it's moving off toward the northeast, so away from the U.S., but it is a reminder that we are approaching the hurricane season. All right, so for overnight tonight, we're looking at a mostly cloudy sky. Again, that isolated shower passing through, but overall dry conditions, but windy. Winds will remain out of the south 10 to 15 miles per hour. Going into your day tomorrow, temperatures will climb into the upper 80s. We'll see warm and humid conditions, the potential for rain and storms. Again, best timing is going to be into the afternoon and early evening, but behind that, or ahead of that rather going into Monday, you'll see lower rain chances, but then that's when those temperatures continue to rise. And as I step out the way, oh, more 90s are going to be with us through the rest of the week and into next weekend. So we have lots of sunshine and dry conditions, but the trade off for that is the heat.